everybody. Hey, that's my firewood, bro. That's my firewood, bro. That's my firewood. What are you doing? That's my firewood. I'm watching my coffee. I'm watching my coffee. <clears throat> Welcome back to Adventures of Spackman. Today, we're looking at my favorite family tent. This is the 10 person instant cabin tent from Ozark Trail with built in LED lights. We're gonna go over the features of this tent, we're gonna go over the setup, then we're gonna put it up against the Spackman water torture test and see how it does. Let's get into it. This is the front of the tent. This is where you find the first door. This is a D style door. The zipper on this door, to be honest, really kind of sucks. If the tent is pulled too tight, it's really hard to zipper. But don't worry, there's another door on this end. This side of this wall is completely meshed with a window and it allows for some great ventilation. On this corner, there's also the electric cord outlet. So you can put an extension cord in and out of this tent if you have electricity at your campsite. If we come over to this end, the opposite end of the other door, we have a double door for the screen and porch. Each side has a zipper along the bottom and one that goes up in the middle. Each door is complete mesh with zipper windows. Now let's go inside and check this out. So this end of the tent can actually be set up like a screen house. When the windows are completely open, so is this whole end right here. This is all mesh, These, this door is all mesh, and this window is all mesh. And then there is a divider that you can set up right here. I don't have it set up right now. I've never used it because we've used this as a family tent, not just a living room and then like a screen room. But it does come with that option to put up a wall right here to have a separate bedroom and then a dining room screen and porch, which is really cool. And then over on this end <laughs> is a media pocket so you can watch your favorite YouTuber. <laughs> sponsor this is epic water filters adventure filter each adventure filter can save up to 750 plastic bottles from the landfill so not only are you drinking delicious water you're helping the environment too if you're interested in any products from epic water filter use code spackman and get 20 percent off your first order thanks epic water filter for sponsoring this video it almost hit me in the junk. This is a pretty cool feature. It's just a clear pocket that you could put any device into that will fit in the pocket, any device that will fit. Over on this side, there's a pocket, a cup holder, and two other pockets. There's also a little pocket over here, right there. It does come with a, a battery pack for the lights, and it takes 4D batteries. I just use a rechargeable battery bank, and I stick it up here with the cord, it's just a USB powered cord right here. And then all the poles on the top light up and it's pretty darn cool at nighttime, guys. If it's a nice night out, you can take the rain fly off and stargaze to your heart's content because the whole roof is mesh. It's, it's a pretty cool feature of this tent. There's, it's well ventilated. All the walls are almost all mesh and so is the roof. Now, setup of this tent is pretty easy. The setup of this tent is why I bought this tent. I'm able to set this up by myself. So at first, all you do is start unfolding the tent. Once you get the tent spread out, the top unfolds from the middle, and then it starts to make the roof of the tent. Once you get the roof set up, I put the rain fly on. Now when it's in this lower section, it is much easier to get the rain fly on before it's completely set up. There's three loops on each side that the rain fly attaches to, and I connect those next. Once you get the rain fly on, you extend each one of the poles until you hear the click and then they are completely locked in and they won't go anywhere. And then all that's left is to stake out the tent. Guy it out if you're expecting some bad weather. Other than that, your tent's set up and it's good to go. Now what makes this my favorite family tent? It's the ease of setup, it's the space. We could fit two queen size blow up mattresses in here with plenty of room for all of our gear as well. What's really cool about it is you have the screen room option too. So if the weather's bad you, or there's lots of bugs, you can pick up your bedding and go into the screen house and be secure from the bugs because everybody hates bugs. Before we get into the spec with water torture test, I wanna say that this tent right here is at least five years old and we've been using it for five years. So it's not brand new and I've never waterproofed this myself. It came water resistant, waterproof from the factory. 
But I mean, let's let's see how this let's see how it did against the vacuum water torture test right now. All right, it's been an hour. Let's see how it did. Not so good on this far, this far wall. That's a pretty big puddle. That one's not so small either. Right here where that water's running down, that is wet. Yeah, now you can see the wetness on my hand, especially this finger. The only spots where it's not leaking is where water's not hitting it. I'm surprised this this is dry. That window's getting a lot of water. That's dry. All right, so as you saw, after five years of use, it's not that waterproof. I cannot speak on how waterproof it is straight out of the box, brand new, but all Ozark Trail tents are hit and miss. Sometimes they're waterproof, sometimes they're not. To guarantee waterproofness and not getting wet, cover your tent with a tarp, guys. Also, if you plan on covering your tarp with a tent, which I hope you do, get a bigger tarp than your tent needs so that you can have an awning and sitting area in case it's raining outside of your tent. More space for your gear that so that your gear can stay dry. And it's just cool to have an awning coming off of your tent for more space if it's raining or if it's sunny, it gives you a shady spot to sit too. I wanna say this tent re retails for about $200. I'll leave a link to it down in the description below, but any Ozark Trail Instant Tent is gonna be about the same setup as this one. So if you're interested in an Ozark Instant Tent, check, check them out at walmart.com or in, in store at Walmart. They're pretty cool tents. I love their Instant Tent setup. I love how easy their Instant Tents are to set up. But other than that guys, that's what makes this my favorite family tent. If you like this sort of thing, think about hitting that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this tent or if you have any experience with Ozark Trail Instant Tents, leave a comment down below. Let us know how you like them. And that's gonna about do it for this one, guys. See you guys next time. Cheers.